If your crochet hooks are a mess and you're looking for a way to organize them, watch today's video and I'll show you how. I love having multiple of every size of crochet hook uh, because I keep them with a project that I will finish someday. So I have been trying to figure out a way to organize these and I think I've came up with a solution. All you're going to need for this project is right here. You need some snack size uh, Ziploc baggies, some duct tape, some clear packaging tape, scissors, stapler and I am going to label mine and so I've made some labels on my Cricut so the big picture of what I have made these are the snack Ziploc baggies and I have duct taped them reinforced the edges with clear packaging tape and I have stapled them together so they're an accordion file so what's going to happen is here is just a handful of crochet hooks. They'll fit in there. I will label them with the, the size hook that is in each pouch. Guess one more thing that you're going to need. I am going to tie these with um, a rope here, some just some macrame cord. You can use some ribbon so that when they're full and I have this cord here, I can wrap it around and we can have a tied pouch of the crochet hooks. So let me show you how I did it. I'm going to reinforce the top first with pieces of duct tape. Then we will staple them together and we will then cover the staples with more duct tape. Um, I have made a couple bags using duct tape and staples and you really surprised how well they hold up. So on the outside here, um, where that rib is, I'm just going to put this over the rib, smooth it down, turn it over, Open up the bag. Don't put your tape over the rib. Just put it just on top of it. And push it down. And we're going to do that on both sides. Um, so I'm on the outside again. Going to cover up the rib. Smush it down. Open up the bag. Do not cover. Okay, so those are reinforced. Now I'm going to just take clear packaging tape and cover the whole edge. This can go off of the, the tail there because we're just going to trim that. So go all the way down there. Okay, now we're going to trim that straight. Take one more piece, do the whole end, trim those corners off. I already have some stapled together, so I'm just going to keep adding to it. Line up these, um, the inside sides of the next two. Use a stapler and put uh, probably three good staples. So those are stapled through and we're going to add now one more piece of duct tape. And when you go on the insides, make sure you're not covering that zipper so that you can still close your pouches. And I like to have my hooks separated by size, but I also like to be able to have my row markers and some safety pins. So the outside one I'm going to make is miscellaneous. And this um, is just uh, from the Cricut. I made signs. You can definitely write on it uh, with Sharpie. Um, it's just because I had it available. I'm just going to put that right on the bag. So on the next one, I'm just going to scoot over just a little bit and put the next size. 
I'm going to have a total of six pouches. So I have four here, so I'm going to make two more. For the, the tie, to tie it together, I am going to tie a knot here and leave a tail. And again, you can use ribbon for this as well. I'm going to staple that on there twice. I'm going to take another one, go from the other side, tie a knot. And I do not want to have uh, staples showing, so I'm going to make a thin and take a piece of duct tape, rip it in half, long ways. I'm going to cover inside. Again, not don't cover up your zipper. And just rip that down to length. And do the same on this one. And we'll cut these to length once we get our, our hooks in there. After I loaded these, I realized it would might be helpful to have the uh, label of what was in the pouch written on this duct tape. So this one is 00 to 4. So I'm going to just do 00 4, and that's inside that pocket. And this one's 5 to 10. So I have them labeled there and labeled on the outside. I cut my strings to about 18 inches long and to just use the string I'm going to wrap that one this direction, wrap this one this direction, and have a little tie. And there I have my crochet hooks all or organized and contained. If you have any suggestions on how to uh, change this up, I would love to hear from you. Uh, this was just out of desperation. I wanted to be able to have mine organized. So if you have any uh, questions or suggestions, please comment down below. But as always, thank you for watching DIY on the House.